focused on the film and today I'm going over all seven DCEU franchises from my least favorite to my favorite according to my own interpretation whether it be one film or three films as part of the franchise that a certain character or set of characters are involved with. So we're going into it right now with coming in number seven we have Justice League. Now this is just an original film on its own because it does not match Zack Snyder's trilogy vision and so what he's going for and the ideas that end up with the studio involvement with this interrupt up so much of Zack Snyder's vision and they limit it to a two hour runtime not going any over which really cuts back on some of the development that should have been involved should have been needed and not only that some of the color grading is just poorly chosen with the red in the final battle or some other weird choices throughout that just does not bring any satisfaction to the CGI that is under delivered with the way they color Steppenwolf and going about in some weird ways in other places as well. And coming in number six, we have Shazam Black Adam. One that really, I am not a fan of the first two Shazam movies. The way they go about with the humor and drama involved does not match my sense of taste. And so that's why it's a big miss for me. And for Black Adam, the moments that really work well for me are only when the moments when Justice Society show up. And so that, as well as the Shazam movies, does not bring a great taste to the Shazam franchise. And coming to number five, we have Aquaman. The singular film does deliver well on providing a fun Indiana Jones-esque adventure going about this journey. And unfortunately, Aquaman is a little made to be dumbfounded in some moments that just does not work well for providing a great character. But overall, it still has the great adventure and final battle at the end of the day. And coming on before we have Suicide Squad Peacemaker. Now while Suicide Squad and Peacemaker are both great movie and series in their own respect, providing something very different, James Gunn bringing it to the table, improving upon the one that takes this series down a notch, the original Suicide Squad that I once actually liked somehow, and now upon rewatch, it was a big miss for me, just with the way the choices, the Enchantress being a poor villain, and the blend of characters that you have throughout, just not providing too much entertainment at the end of the day. But coming in number three, we have Birds of Prey, the singular film that I just enjoy for its unique sense of storytelling within the DCEU, and this movie certainly stands out because it doesn't feel like it matches with anything besides some references to Joker that follows up with the regular Suicide Squad. And so just going about that and but Margot Robbie having so much fun as Harley Quinn in her performance and then having all of these other women roles that really work well for becoming an interesting film even if it feels very different than what you've gotten before from DCU movies in general. But that leaves at number two, Zack Snyder's trilogy from from Man of Steel to Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Edition, never seen the theatrical edition, as well as Zack Snyder's proper ju Justice League, delivers so well in being better each entry that is provided leading up to what we have today that I'm not a Zack Snyder huge fandom fanatic. Like, I'm not begging for anything more from Zack Snyder. But overall, from what we got, and I enjoyed the Man of Steel and the Ultimate Edition of Batman vs. Superman. And of course, it's something that's a big improvement with the, his own addition to Justice League, that it's a very good continuation throughout that you understand the story involved, even separate from the rest of the DCEU. And that leaves that number one, the one woman franchise, one that provides a great hero and a great story and a pretty good continuation, even if it's a divided 
a year jump apart and still not even caught up to present day Wonder Woman, I still really enjoy what they have going for her character. And the first one has always been rather good, even if the final battle feels a little bit separate and distinct from the rest of the story. But with Wonder Woman 1984, while I used to dislike it, I love it this time around, being one of my favorites of the franchise as a whole. And so that combined with the first and the way they go with such rich thematic elements with the story involved and being so appreciative of the things we have today made this for a better movie and adds to the combination of a better franchise. So that makes it the number one of the DCEU franchise in my personal opinion. And I'd love to know what how you would rank this franchise's down in comments below. Which is your least favorite and which is your favorite of the franchises and which feels like the black sheep of the bunch. So let's just all be sure to check out these videos on end screen now.